Okay, so the last lecture for this chapter is still focusing on 1.3 but we are going to focus on logarithm. So, the learning outcome at the end of the lesson, students should be able to express the law of logarithm such as the first one, log to the base A of M N is equal to log to the base A of M plus with log to the base A of N. And then, the second one, log to the base A of M divided by N is equal to log to the base A of M minus log to the base A of N. And the third one is log to the base A of M to power of N is equal to N log to the base A of M. And then, the last learning outcome is to change the base of logarithm by using the log to the base A of M equal to log to the base of B to of M divided with log to the base of B of A. Okay, so what is actually logarithm? So most of the students really afraid of this logarithm, but it's actually really simple. It's just related to the exponent. What you need to do is to understand the relationship between exponent and logarithm. They are really they are related. So the exponent asks how many times to use the number in multiplication, and the logarithm answers what the exponent is. So for example, two to power four. 2 to power of what, we will get 8. So actually, the log will answer the question. Log 2 of 2, we get, to get 8, we have to multiply for 3 times. Okay? So 2 to power of 3 equal to 8. So for log to base 2 of 8, means that how many times 2 have to be multiplied so that it will get 8 is equal to 3 times. So that is what logarithm means. Therefore, logarithm is actually equal to the exponent. So, we can rewrite the logarithm in the indices form, the exponent form. So, log to the base. So, this is the base for log. This is also the base for exponent. And then, n is the answer for the question, is the value we want to find. So, it will be on the right side for the exponent. x is the question we want to find, where how many times a need to be, to be multiplied, so x times, so we get the answer n. So a to the power of x, a multiplied for x times, we get n. For every n more than 0, it's only applicable for the natural number. Okay, let's do some example. For the following, write down an expression for a logarithm in a suitable base. So, what is the suitable base for question A? So we just have to change this exponent form into a logarithm form. So the base for A is 10, the base for B is 2. So the answer for A is equal to log to the base of 10. To get 1000, we have to multiply by 3. So log to the base of 10 of 1000 is equal to t 3. So for question B also, we have the base 2. So log to the base of 2 of 1 over 32 is equal to negative 5. So from exponent to logarithm. So for question 5, example 5, without using calculator, find the value of log to the base 3 of 81 and log to the base 5 of 125. So we have to apply the rules, uh, the law of logarithm. So for question A, what we can do is actually to change this 81 into some value with base of 3. So 81 is actually what? So it's actually a perfect value where 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. So we change the 81 into 81 into 3 to the power of 4. So this 4 is a power rule. So we can bring 4 to the front. So we will have log to the base 3 of 3 and 4 at the front. So, this log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1. Why? Because we want to get 3 from 3 is equal to multi multiply for 1 time only. So, the answer will be 4. How about B? So, how about B? So, we have base 5 here. So, what is 1 to 5 with base 5 related to? So, 5 is actually... To the power of 3, we will get 1 to 5. So the answer will be 3. Okay, so natural logarithm. What is natural logarithm? 
Natural logarithm is log to the base of E where E is, or, is a Euler numbers which is about 2.71828 and we have more decimal of it uh, with the abbreviation of LN. So some of us we call it as ln but it's not ln, it's natural logarithm. We don't have ln in this pronunciation. So log, let, natural logarithm of x is equal to log to the base E of x. So we have B base of E here. So definition of common logarithm, common logarithm, we have 10, uh, 10 as the base. So our calculator uh, directly put 10 as the base to find the log. So if we want to find the natural logarithm, we have to use the log to the base of E of all the natural logarithm in calculator. Okay, the law of logarithm. So these three law is really important. We will use it uh, frequently in solving the natural the logarithm problems. So the first one is log m plus log n is equal to log to bottom of m multiplied by n. So we have addition here between two log. So we just have to multiply the value inside the log. For example, log base 2 of 6 plus log base 2 of x. So we have the same base here. So we can apply the log. So it will be log base 2 of 6x. The second one is the division so log of a uh, log m minus log n is equal to log of m divided by n so we have the subtraction here we just have to divide the value inside the log so what we have for example log base 5 of 10 minus log base 5 of y so make sure we have the same base same base first so both are base 5 so we can apply the law so we have log base 5 of 10 over y and the last one is the power law so what we have is log of m to power of n. So we have this power here. We can bring the power to the front to be the coefficient of the log. So for example, log base 2 of x to power of 4. This 4 can we uh, let as the coefficient of the log. So it will be 4 log of base 2 of x. Okay? To apply the rules, all logs must be on the, uh, to the same base. This is really important. Eh? So all rules and property of logarithm are applicable for natural log. So let's see for log base A. So this is the general one. Log base A of 1 is equal to 0. Why? Any value we want to get the 1 as the result, we have to multiply for 0 times. So it will be the same for the common log, which is log base 10 of 1 is equal to 0. Log, natural log also will be the same. Natural log of 1 is equal to 0. And then the second one, the properties is log base A of A is equal to 1. So for common log, it should be log base 10 of 10 equal to 1. For natural log, so what is the value? It should be E. So log natural log of E is equal to 1. And then the third one is log base 10 of A to power of X. So we can bring the power to the front by applying the law of power. And then what we left is log of A of A. So it will be equal to 1. So we left with X only. So it will be the same as the common and natural log. So we have X when we have log base 10 of 10 or natural log of E. And the last one, the properties is 8 power of log base A of X, we will have X as the result. So, base, the same base for uh, exponent with the power of log with the same base of A. So, the same for the common and natural log. So, it will be 10 power of log base 10 of X will be equal to X. Natural log, uh, 8 power of natural log of X will be equal to X. Okay, let's do some example. Write the following as single logarithm. So for the question A, what we have, we have the same base which is, if we don't have any value here, it will be base 10. So log 10 minus log 6 plus log 9. So how to write down in a single form? Make sure the first thing first is the coefficient of the log will be 1. So everything here is 1. So we just have to combine by using the uh, multiplication and division. So log 8 minus log 6, so minus will be divide. And then plus log 9 will be multiply. So 8 multiplied by 9 divided by 6, the answer will be log 12. 
How about question B? So, question B, 2 natural law of x plus 7 minus natural law of x. So, we have both natural logs here. So, we have the same base which is E. So, what we should do, we can apply the division. But before that, make sure we have a 1 zip coefficient for each of the terms. But here we have 2. So, what we can do, we can apply the law of power. So, these two can be the power of x plus 7. So, we have natural law of x plus 7 square minus natural law of x. So, it will be natural logs of x plus 7 square divided by x. So, this will be our answer. And then, for question C, log of base 2 of 3 plus 5 log base 2 of x minus 8 log base 2 of y. So, everything can be simplified into a single log because we have the same base here too. But, we still have 5 as the coefficient for the second log and 8 as the coefficient for the third log. So, what we should do, we have to bring, the power, bring it as the power of the value. So, what we have is log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of x power of 5 minus log base 2 of y to power of 8. And then, we can just combine by using the log. So, what we have as the answer is log base 2 of 3 multiply with x power of 5 divide with x y to power of 8. So, that is the answer. Okay? Good. Okay, so for example, 7, write as a sum or difference of log. So, we have a single log here. So, what we need to do to express this single log into a sum or difference of log. So let's see question number A. So log of square a cube root of 1 over y squared multiplied with square root of x squared over z. So the first thing we see that we have the dot here. Dot means the multiply. So we can use the multiplication or addition from log. So we can separate these two into log of cube root of 1 over y squared plus log of square of x squared over z. Okay, and then the next step is we have this power. So, applying the power law. So, what we, we get later is this power is actually equal to 1 over 3. How about this one? This is equal to 1 over 2. Okay, so we written in the form of indices. So, we get this power 1 over 2 will be the coefficient of the log. This power of 1 over, sorry, this one is 1 over 3. So, this one is 1 over 2. So, it will be coefficient for each of the log. Okay, so our answer will be 1 over 3 log of y to power of negative 2. Why? Because we want this one to be on the top. And then plus 1 over 2 of log x squared minus y. This x squared and divided by z can be separated by using the subtraction law. Okay, and then what we can do, the next step is to expand everything and bring the power to the coefficient. So, we have negative 2 over 3 log y plus log x y. These two also we bring as a coefficient. And then, after expanding, we have negative 1 over 2 log z. So, this is the answer for question A. For question B, natural log of square root of 2x over x squared minus 1. So, the first thing before we separate these two, what we should do is to... Simplify the power. So, we bring this power or this square as a power of 1 over 1 over 2. Yes. So, we don't have this square already and then this power can be the coefficient in front of the log. So, 1 over 2 log natural log of 2x over x squared minus 1. This division can be separated into 2 log of 2 subtraction of log. So, it will be 1 over 2 of log two, natural log of 2x minus natural log of x squared minus 1. Can we expand this one by using any law of the logarithm? No, we don't have the law for this part. There is no law log of a minus b equal to something, something, something. No, don't be confused with the, the law we use for the first part. Okay? So, what we get, expand everything we have. So, what we can do is, this is a perfect uh, perfect factor. So, x squared minus 1 squared. So, what we can have is x minus 1, x plus 1. 
So separating this multiplication, we will have the third is 1 over 2 of natural log of 2x minus natural log in a bracket of natural log of x minus 1 plus natural log of x plus 1. So simplify everything, expanding. So we have 1 over 2 of natural log of 2x minus 1 over 2 natural log of x minus 1 minus 1 over 2 of natural log of x plus 1. Done. So for example, A. Express y in terms of x for each of the following equations. So we want y as the subject and then it will be in terms of x on the right side. So, for question A, log y equal to 2 log x. So, we can equate this y with x on the right side. But because the coefficient of log is not the same, we have to make sure we have the same coefficient for each log. So, what we can do to make it 1 on the right side, this, this coefficient can be a power of x. So, what we will have for question A is log y is equal to log of x x squared. So we can just compare inside of the log. So what we have inside of the log? Yes, y equal to x squared. What about question B? So we have to make sure on the left, sorry, on the left side we only have log of y and then on the right side we have log of something something. So for question B, what we can do? So what is 1? So we know the properties of log 1 is actually come from log a a so because this base is equal to 10 we don't we don't uh, express any base here it, it means that is a common log so this one is actually equal to log 10 plus log y equal to and this 3 we have to make sure we don't have 3 in front of the log it should be only 1 so it will be the power of x so log on the right side we have log x cubed so what we can do, we can bring everything that not related to y on the right side. So we have log y equal to log x cubed minus log 10. And then we can, yes, we can merge this part by using the law of logarithm. Because this is subtraction, what we will have is, is log of x cubed over 10. So comparing on the left side on, and on the right side inside of the log, we should have, y equal to x cubed over 10 as the answer. Let's move on to change of base. So what is this change of base? So formula for changing from base A to base B. This is what we want to use the change of base. Why we need to change the base? It's sometimes useful to solve the equation or uh, to solve to simplify the expression. So let's, uh, uh, let's see the explanation. So log to the base A of M is equal to X. Okay. And then this, this, is, this expression, this equation can be written in the form of indices which is M equal to A to power of, a, a to power of X. The uh, putting log on both sides log b to the base b on both sides, we have log to the base b of m equal to x log to the base b of a. So if we want to get the x, let x as the subject, what we will have is x equal to log to the base b of m divided with log, log to the base b of a. What is x? x is equal to log to the base a of m. So, what we can say from this is that log to the base A of M can be changed into a different base log. So, it will be log to the base B of M divided with log to the base B of A. So, M will be on the top, A will be on the denominator. Okay, we can use this formula to change the base. In the special case, where m is equal to b, this identity will become log to the base a of m can be log to the base b of m divided with log to the base b of a. So if we change this m into b, so what we will get as the result is log to the base of b is equal to this m will be b, log to the b of b divided with 
log to the b of a. So what is log to the b of b? It's equal to 1. So this uh, equation, these properties can be used to solve some of the questions. So let's do some example. Example 9, evaluate correct to 4 decimal places. So log to the base 3 of 5 and log to the base 5 of 10. Okay, so do you find any uh, log to the base 3, log to the base 5 to solve this kind of log in your calculator? No, we don't have. We only have log to the base of 10. Everything inside calculator, log of something, log of x is actually log to the base 10 of x in your calculator. See what? So, if we want to find this value, what we need to do, we have to apply the change of base. So, how you we use it? So, change the base. So, we want to change into base 10. Why? Because we can use the calculator for that. So, it will be... So, this one is M. So, this one is A. So, it should be what? Log to the base 10 of 5. The M divided with log to the base 10 of A. 3. So, we have the calculator to calculate this value. So directly we get the answer 1.4650. So don't forget we have to give the answer in 4 decimal places. This 0 is needed for the answer. Okay, for question B. Log to the base 5 of 10. So change base into 10. So what we get on the top is log 10. On the bottom is log 5. So log 10 is equal to 1. So we have 1 over log 5 directly calculate by using your calculator. We will have the answer 1.4307. Okay. So example 10. Express as a single logarithm to base 2. So, so we want to express this equation to the base 2. So the left hand side, we have the base 2 already. How about 8 here? The second term. So we don't have base 2. So we have to change into base 2. So what we can do? We will have the top one. This is our M. This is our A. So it will be written as log base 2 of X plus with log base 2 of X divided with log base 2 of 8. So this denominator can be simplified. Why? This 8 is equal to 3. Sorry. This 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So, it will be log of base 2 of 2 to the power of 3. So, this 3 can be the coefficient. And log 2 of 2 is equal to 1. That's why we have 3 in the denominator. Okay. Do you understand for this part? So, we finish chapter 1 for now. Thank you. Oops. This is the answer. Why 4 over 3? This is 1. This is 1 over 3. Right? So 1 plus 1 over 3 will be 4 over 3. Good luck everyone for the chapter 1. Please conquer uh, and study smart. Thank you.